BCA Hub video series brings together the latest video tech tips on wheel hubs, bearings, and seals, featuring the experts you trust. Brought to you by BCA Bearings by NTN. Learn more at bcabearings.com. A solid axle, well, it might seem like antiquated technology, but there's a ton of them out on the road today with pickup trucks, SUVs, and other vehicles. How do you service this, and what are your replacement options? One choice might be to replace the entire axle with a remanufactured or even salvage unit. This can be useful if you don't want to spend the time refreshing the axle. This approach might work if a customer is willing to wait for the axle to arrive on a pallet. The other option, well, is to install fresh bearings and seals at your shop. This approach can eliminate the lengthy wait for a new axle and get the customer back on the road sooner. Inspection of the bearings of a solid axle is just like any wheel bearing. First, start with the customer complaint. Some customer complaints, they may sound like it's a brake problem or even a drivetrain problem. So get all the details about the symptom. Second, perform a visual inspection of the axle. Any signs of a significant leak may indicate the unit has been run without lubricant. Look at the ends of the axle as well as the center section. Shiny leaks are the sign of an active leak. Dull or matted finish leaks, well, it might be normal seepage or weepage. Third, check for play at the wheels. There should be no movement or play with most axles. Rotate the wheels by hand and listen and feel for any unusual sounds or play. For some axles, you will have to perform some disassembly to diagnose the condition of the axle and the bearings. The first item removed is the cover for the differential, if it's equipped that way. With the cover off, you can see the condition of the differential, ring and pinion, and even the carrier bearings. Also, you can access the clips that bolt and secure the axles on the vehicle. The next part to come off, well, it's the wheels and some of the brake components. With the brakes removed, you can inspect the area around the axle seals. Often, a seal will fail and the gear lube will contaminate the brake pads or even the shoes for the parking brake. The axle shafts need to be inspected. The surfaces on the shaft that make contact with the seals and bearings need to be pristine if the axle is going to be leak-free and quiet. The most critical part of the disassembly is removing the bearings and retainers from the shaft without damaging the axle shaft or even the housing. Any damages to the surfaces that seal or the bearing rides on can cause premature failure of the new bearing. If the surface is grooved or damaged, the axle can be repaired with a sleeve on some applications. If not, the axle should be replaced. Another option for some applications is to install a replacement bearing that repositions the bearing and seal to ride on unworn surfaces. Under normal operating conditions, the OE design wheel bearing and even the seal can work grooves into the axle shaft at the point they make contact. This is in addition to normal wear and tear created by the bearing rollers making contact with the axle shaft, which can cause pitting on the axle surfaces. Generally, this type of wear necessitates the replacement of the axle shaft when replacing the bearings. BCA axle shaft repair bearings are designed to replace the OE bearing and seal without requiring the replacement of a worn axle shaft. Axle shafts repaired with this bearing feature a unitized design incorporating the bearing and seal into a single component. This design of the repair bearing shifts the position of the bearing and seal along the axle shaft, allowing an unworn section of the axle shaft to make a new point of contact. BCA axle shaft repair bearings are engineered to be a direct replacement for the OE wheel bearing and seal. Inspecting some differentials, well, it can be challenging. The first item to check is the ring and pinion gears. Any unusual wear to the teeth can indicate misalignment or a failed carrier bearing or even the pinion bearings. Look at the spider gears inside the differential. They should rotate freely. And if the vehicle has a limited slip differential, look up the inspection and service procedures. The most challenging part of the repair is setting up how the ring and pinion gears mesh. The pinion gear typically has two bearings between the yoke and the gear. 
The bearings and the crush sleeve work together to set the height and preload of the pinion gear. The differential carrier and ring gear also have two bearings. Carrier bearings might have shims or adjusters that allow the technician to move the ring gear laterally to align it properly with the pinion. No matter the type of axle, it is critical that the surfaces are free from corrosion and damage so the seal can operate as intended. Before installing the axle and the seal, use a fine grade emery cloth to clean the contaminants and debris from the axle shaft and the inner housing. Debris that remains inside the housing may prevent new bearings from seating properly. Lubricate the replacement bearings and the seal before installing them into the axle. You can do this by submerging the bearing in oil. Install the bearing inside the axle housing with the seal facing outward until it's fully seated. When pressing the bearing into place, be cautious not to press on the seal. Pressure should only be applied to the outer diameter of the bearing. Reinstall the axles and complete the assembly procedure according to the manufacturer's recommendations. Some axles, well, they're going to require additional clips and fasteners even torque to yield bolts. When reinstalling the new axle shafts, interference with the axle and splines and the spider gears is a common issue and it can prevent the axle shaft from seating and it can cause other interference with, let's say, installing C-clips on certain axles. If there's an issue with the reinstallation of the axle shafts, you need to check a couple things. First of all, check the seal. The leading killer of a solid axle wheel bearing is a failed seal. Most seals ride on the axle shaft and they typically have a lip and spring that hold the lip to the axle. When the seal is installed, take your time installing the axle. Splines can damage the seal and cause leaks down the road. Make sure the breathers on the axle tube are not clogged and they're functioning properly. The breather on some axles acts as a positive crankcase ventilation valve to keep the pressures within a specific range so the seals can work their best as the differential heats and cools. If the breather is clogged, the heat will increase the pressure inside the axle. As the axle cools, the negative pressure could build up behind the seal. These changes in pressure will cause the lip of the seal to deform and even leak. After everything is assembled, make sure to use the correct gear loop. Some differentials require a specific friction modifier additive that might be included with the gear loop, or you might have to order it separately. If the wrong lubricant is used, it might cause noise and damage to the friction plates inside the limited slip mechanism. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.